What do you say we start a revolution? What do you think? Right. I don't know, that kind of stuff never happens in this country, though, does it? I mean, last year, a million students rebelled in China, 650,000 people in Romania, a half a million in East Germany. And I'm thinking to myself, you couldn't get a half a million Americans together unless it was a really good rock and roll show, The Second Coming of Christ, or they were giving away beer. <laughs> I mean, if I came up to you and I said, come, we must go to the center of town. <laughs> Fight for freedom, democracy, and our rights. Be <laughs> like, tonight? <laughs> uh, we rented Batman. Um, are you guys going to be hanging out tomorrow? I'll come down with the cooler, some tunes. It'll be good. <laughs> I mean, what's an American revolution when the bank machine breaks down? <laughs> actually, no, actually, an American revolution is more like four guys wearing tie dyed shirts and one girl with a guitar holding hands in front of a nuclear power plant. <laughs> yeah, that'll help. <laughs> It's like, hey, who brought the hummus? <laughs> Anybody got a hacky? <laughs> oh, we're really solving problems now, huh? <laughs> Isn't it exciting to live in a country where a politically charged question is, would you like paper or plastic bags today? <laughs> It's like, I don't know, God, I want to make the right choice. Uh, well, I used styrofoam once this week. Give me plastic. That's all right. Some lighter fluid. <laughs> Oh, man, so it's the 90s, right? I've been away, sorry. Um, how you guys feeling about that? Huh? Good? I mean, what'd you think of the 80s? They kind of sucked, didn't they? I mean, what did we get out of the 80s? Just say no to drugs. If you have sex, you can die. If you drink and drive, you get just short of the electric chair. You can't smoke in most public places anymore. Folks, self-destruction is not what it used to be. <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ, if you go out on a date, have a couple of drinks, drive home and make love, you're living on the edge, man. <laughs> have a couple of cigarettes afterwards, maybe you have a problem. <laughs> I feel sorry for teenagers, though, because when I was in high school, you know, reckless drinking, driving, and sex, it was like part of the program, you know, if you lived, <laughs> good. Um, but now it's like, you know, it's like either socially inappropriate or dangerous. And I, I just wonder what's going to fill that void in the adolescent mind. I figure it's only a matter of time before we see something like new from Nintendo. Drunk driver. It's like you get a car, a full tank of gas, and a case of beer. And you got to make it through this obstacle course of cops, trees, and pedestrians before you finish the beer, okay? And if you make it through, if you, like, if you only hit any of the obstacles, if you hit any of the obstacles more than once... The game changes, the screen changes, community service. <laughs> And you're using the joystick to ladle soup at a retirement home somewhere.